back here inside Studio 42 is Greg with Tom Verducci. Okay, so you see Juan Soto, the 19-year-old go yard, and we all know the upcoming free agency of Bryce Harper. Looks like they've got the outfield configuration all set up, especially when Harper's hitting 2-11 on the season. It's what is wrong amazing. with Bryce Harper? Frustrated, that's what I see. He's a guy, for instance, he sees fewer pitches in the strike zone than anybody in baseball, and it's getting to him. He's become a pull ground ball machine, which is what you don't want to do if you're Bryce Harper. You want to lift the ball in the air. What I see is a guy who's getting out in front, chasing especially the ball away. Bryce has not been able to get to anything away. He's always kind of been unorthodox with his hitting mechanics. You watch that front hip rotate. But sometimes it spins too far away, which makes it difficult for him. What you're seeing here, we're seeing way too many of those. He's grounded out to the pole side more times this year than he did all of last year. And that tells you he's out in front, rolling over on pitches. And pitchers, as I said, they're avoiding him. They're not throwing him many strikes. And they are keeping the ball, when it's in the strike zone, away from him. This is what it should look like on balls away to Bryce Harper. This is last year. You see the front hip stay in, the shoulder stay in the baseball. And he's got power to all fields when he stays in on that ball away. Again, last year, he's hitting well over 300 on balls away. You're talking about fastballs away this year, 125. Completely different hitter this year. And I think it's because he's just frustrated trying to get to pitches. Over anxious, generally out in front of off-speed stuff. Here are the numbers for you. Go back to last year and listen, it's night and day. I know since the, you know, he got off to a hot start, too, the first two weeks of the season. Since then, he's under 190. What would you see in him tonight, though? Well, Sonny Gray pitched to him textbook form, as I've said all along. Here's the strike zone, right? Close the door because all of it's going to be closed except that little sliver on the outside. If you're a pitcher, everything else is not in play in the strike zone. Sonny Gray threw him 10 pitches, okay? Eight of them were out of the strike zone, and two made it in that little sliver on the outside. Did Bryce Harper walk? No. He went 0 for 3 against Sonny Gray. Think about that. Ten pitches, eight out of the strike zone, and Sonny Gray got him out three times. Mm. We're seeing that over and over again where a guy is just getting over anxious. I get it. He's seeing so few pitches to hit. Yep. It's causing anxiety. But to me, Greg, he's got to get back to that front hip, staying closed. If I were him, I'd go Anthony Rizzo. Get a little bit more on the plate and make that outside yeah. in because people are not pitching him middle in now. Everything is away or under the zone. Uh, I thought you, what you meant Anthony Rizzo. You meant clean shaving because he did that. He did shave off the beard. He's trying yeah, to make it, adjustments. It didn't work today. No. What other adjustment <laughs> other than shaving should Bryce Harper make? Harold, what do you think? Well, shaving is a start. No. <laughs> I, I really think this. There's only one person that can fix his swing, and that's his dad. You know, nobody spends more time working with him than his dad does. And I remember going to Vegas, and this is at his high school in the winter working. And look at where his dad's sitting for flip drills. This is not Bill Ripken with wiffle balls. That's a real baseball. And the biggest thing Tom touched on is being able to hit the ball with the ballpark. When Bryce is right, he will take that outside pitch and be able to shoot it in any park in the league to left field, to left center, to right center, all over the place, and getting his bat on plane. And the one thing that I walked away six years ago was that if he's able to keep that drill with his dad, a simple flip drill of keeping his bat on the right plane, he's able to cover the whole strike zone. So I agree with what Tom's talking about. Is it? Is he impatient? Is he chasing? Remember what happened when the Cubs walked him like six times? Mm -hmm. um, Joe Madden walked him every game, and then he went into that funk for a little while. Uh, he's got to learn to trust his teammates. And if they're going to walk him, they're going to walk him. But I, but I look at it this way. There is only one stat that matters for Bryce Harper when we get to $300 million or not. That's games played. If he plays his games, he'll have his numbers at the end of the year. You notice how you, we're talking about three hundred million now, <clears throat> not Whereas four or five. It started at uh, I don't know. five hundred million. I, I still and think then it, it went to four hundred million. Now we're talking about him chasing three hundred million. Uh, point is, if you're hitting two eleven, there's no guarantee that even three hundred million is, is what's going to happen here. Is he costing himself? Serious cash by slumping this way. I don't see it. I mean, you're talking about two down months, a guy who's put up incredible numbers at the age of 25, free agent at 26. 
I don't think general managers, owners are going to be so short-sighted to look at one slump here and say it's going to cost them $100 million. Think about this. The top commodities in the game, if you were an owner, right? To draw fans, win games, be the face of the franchise, this guy's on the very short list of exactly what you want. Well, that yeah. hasn't changed. And, and the biggest thing, you got to remember, where we're at, what we've watched now in the last three winters, is they're not paying for age. That premium age that Bryce is at, those years, is what Yeah, they but the last with. time we talked about a player who's uh, the best stat that he had on his side was age, that was Jason Hayward. And you overpaid for a guy that wasn't really producing, but we were projecting based on his age because he was so young. Mm -hmm. We just ended an offseason where guys could not get paid. They did not get contracts. J.D. Martinez. Uh, There's a chance you he can't sneeze at $100 million. Time, You bro. can't sneeze at $100 million. I get it. But the second half that J.D. Martinez had, good luck, Bryce Harper, trying to do that. You could not play any better than J.D. Martinez. And I know he wasn't 26. I get that. But he didn't get anywhere close to the $200 million. Well, that that's wanted. not even fair because there's no defensive component there with J.D. Martinez. The age is a difference. W Bryce Harper will be the best value free agent in terms of age and athletic ability since Alex Rodriguez. Wait, you More than Machado? Ed, you're putting him ahead, yes. of ahead of Manny Machado? I am. I think they're both close. Don't get me wrong. Throw a right blanket over the numbers. Right shortstop? Those are two different spots. I don't we, the world values shortstops. Yeah, right, but Tom, Tom's value in the marketability. And that's what I've been talking about the whole time is, is – he has a market that people follow. They just do. He's one of the few guys, maybe not today because he doesn't have the beard, can walk down the street of any street in America without the jersey and the hat on, and people know who he is. So it's a popularity is. contest? I'm just saying that's part of the recipe. So now Harold's going to be doing part of the recipe. popularity contest? I want to see that. Is that that's the next? <laughs> is trying, that the next tool? I'm trying to walk down every street in America. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.